Intermittent fasting is a powerful strategy for weight loss and other health benefits. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some different types of fasting that you can do, whether you're a beginner or advanced. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health and wellness. So I'm a huge fan of fasting. I've been doing some version of intermittent fasting every day for about the last year and a half. And in the past, I've done a lot longer fasts. But specifically, what we're talking about here is water fasting. We're not talking about juice fasting. We're talking about water fasting. So at a very beginner level, you could do something as simple as 13 hours of fasting and this really wouldn't be much different than just not eating after dinner and then waking up and pushing your breakfast back just a little bit and I bet most people are probably already fasting around this time already but if you're not to get to 13 hours is pretty easy to do and the benefits of fasting already start at 13 hours now quickly benefits of fasting there's lots of them but benefits of fasting include things like autophagy where your body goes in and repairs it cells, gets rid of things that no, are no longer needed, can help with reducing inflammation and obviously weight loss and that's probably the number one reason why people are doing fasting in the first place. So next let's get into something that's even more common than 13 hours. Most people are probably doing somewhere around a 16-8 type of fast meaning that they're fasting for 16 hours and eating within an eight hour period of time. And I would say this is probably the number one thing that people are doing. So this is something that also can be done every single day and the benefits again really are increased the longer that you do fast. And then if you wanna go a little bit further, you can push the 16 hours up to say 20 hours and then eat within a four hour period of time. That's another way, that's also called the warrior diet. And then to go a little bit further beyond that, you could push it to 24 hours or OMAD one meal a day where you're basically just eating one time per day. That's also very common and for many people, this will give them a lot, not only a lot of benefit, this is where autophagy begins, but also for weight loss, this is also a good starting point. So if you're struggling to lose weight and you've already done like an overnight fast maybe 16 hours push it to 24 hours and see if that helps so after a 24 now we're gonna push into possibly a 36 to 42 hour fast, okay? Now, if you're struggling with weight loss and these other shorter types of fasts have not been working, this seems to be the sweet spot for weight loss. So if OMAD hasn't been working, if 16-8 hasn't been working, you may wanna try going to a 36 to maybe 48 hour fast, and this should be really beneficial for your weight loss. So if you haven't tried that already, then give it a shot. Now, if you're new to fast, I don't recommend immediately starting with that. I say build up and work your way up to a longer fast like that. But people who have already been trying the shorter fasts, then go ahead and do a longer fast. Okay, so beyond 48 hours, now we're looking at say a 72 or three day fast. So this is where the real magic begins as far as healing is concerned. So this is where stem cells start to get produced and obviously inflammation levels will start to go down. Now it might be really difficult to get to a 72 hour fast, especially in the beginning, but you can work your way up towards that. And going beyond 72 hours is also possible, but that would be more for people who have either more chronic conditions or they're really trying to lose a lot of weight. So this is a, more of an advanced strategy, but it is definitely something that you can do every now and then. My goal lately has been to do a 72 hour fast at least once a year, if not more. Now, in addition to all of these different types of fasts, you want to remember that you need to add in feast days here and there so you don't want to always be fasting and keeping your calorie levels low every now and then you want to add in a feast day meaning that you eat basically whatever you want no calorie restrictions no restrictions even on your macros because when you do the same thing over and over again your body gets used to it and it doesn't want to respond anymore so you have to mix it up so even with fasting variety is the key doing things different is really a good idea, especially if you're struggling with weight loss. Mix it up, do different types of fasts. 
Now for ladies, one thing about fasting, the one time during the month that you don't want to do fasting is right before and during your period, okay? this It's not really recommended to do a lot of fasting right around that time. So for three weeks out of the month, you're good to go. Do it as often as you want. But the week around your period, not the best time to do fasting. So just wanted to throw that in there. And I also have another video on this if you want to check that out above. So in any case, I hope this was helpful. And if you haven't already started intermittent fasting, I say give it a try, work your way into it. And if you're already into fasting, try doing a longer fast, do more variety, and don't forget about the feast days. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to smile. It's good for your health. I'll see you guys in the next video. And let me know down below in the comments if you have started fasting and what's the longest fast you've done so far. All right, thanks, guys. See you next time.